Today I'm going to show you the renovation of my apartment. If you are new here, my name is Anna. I am Russian and I made a video about the Soviet apartment, which this apartment used to be, but now it has completely changed. And in the first part of this video, I'm going to show you these changes, how we changed the apartment. And in the second part of the video, I'll tell you how we did it. So let's go. So the thing is that when we bought this apartment, it looked very ugly, um, even though I tried so hard to make it cozy. Um, and we planned to make this renovation, but we didn't have enough money to do that. And then we saved some money and after that we decided to do the renovation finally. So here it goes. Before there used to be the wall here and it was separated. Here was the kitchen and right now it's the kitchen zone and not the kitchen. And then here was like the bedroom. Uh, right now it's the bedroom zone. Um, and the zone for gas, like chill out zone, I call that. And yeah, so as you can see from the old pictures I'm showing you here, it was just not as it is right now and uh, it has completely changed as I told you. So let's start, I think, with, uh, with the things that we've changed. Uh, so here we made a big closet and I keep some stuff here, like there are my coats right over here. I have boots right over here and I keep some things that I use like I don't know bags hats and some stuff for home um, here I also keep like a vacuum cleaner water and my books I don't know my baggage my suitcases um, yeah so this closet is for everything and it basically it is very nice with this uh, mirrors right over here so when you are uh, when you get dressed so you can see yourself in this mirrors so you can dance right over here so there is enough space um, so here is bathroom <laughs> the bathroom so let's go inside the bathroom and we changed the area of the bathroom uh, it used to be smaller and you can see it from the area of, from the surface of the bathtub uh, so it's longer right now um, and it's very like white uh, I really love the uh, the walls here the print on the walls and I think it's um, the dream of every girl it's this mirror <laughs> I really love this mirror it's so nice um, yeah so it's basically very very common I guess for bathroom but it's really nice with the white walls um, really love that and I don't like the I prefer bath rather than shower so that's why I decided to keep it okay let's go to the kitchen zone my favorite part of the kitchen zone is the tap I didn't know that it existed but this kind of tap is really handy like and it's really cool to wash the dishes like that you can I don't know move it around it's so cool Unfortunately, I don't have the dishwasher. You can see that it's quite small. Um, there aren't a, there aren't a lot of there aren't much drawers. Uh, only like a few, and here the washing machine is hidden. So and there is no space for the dishwasher. But for me, it's okay to wash the dishes myself. Um, yeah, that's it. So we have also the oven and microwave right over here and also in the kitchen zone what i really like is this wall so i can use the chalk and uh, write anything here so please subscribe <laughs> to my channel if you're first coming here and i'm gonna upload a lot of videos about russia um tell about this video to your friends as well 
Well, and an interesting question for you guys. Uh, please leave the comment here. What do you think are these sockets for? We didn't use them now, but uh, they were designed to for something. So please write in the comment what do you think are they for. So this is one socket here and the other one is here, which I also don't use right now. Um, let's go on. <laughs> so this kind of uh, Christmas, New Year's decorations, I keep I kept it from the old apartment. I really like them. It's the New Year's time and this is the cozy atmosphere with the candles and with the lights. Well, right now we are going to the chill out zone. So I have this cool chair and I can chill out here really nice. Sometimes I work with my laptop, sometimes I just sit like here or invite my friends and we have like interesting conversations. Some, some people sit in this chair, some people sit on the couch and I also keep this bin bag I showed you the last time. Right now it's on the balcony, we'll come to it later. All right, um, and we also divided and we also have the uh, sleeping zone here. Um, I keep the curtains open, but if I want, for example, I can close it like that and nobody sees what is on the, on the bed. Um, and the working zone. Yeah, so I have, we made a, a table, like a desk, right over here. Sometimes I work here, sometimes I work on the kitchen. Um, and recently I've been thinking about the fact that I have right over there, I have a big wardrobe and right now I'm thinking about that probably in the future I'm going to change it and make a working zone right over there because if you don't know, I have another channel called Coden Girl. Uh, if you're interested, you can subscribe and I talk there about uh, my way to coding. I changed my career and decided to become a programmer. Um, so I'm talking about things on about these things uh, on this channel. Uh, so probably I will need on the in the future more space for like more space for the screens for big screens. I don't have enough space here, uh, but I don't know right now. Right now um, it's okay to work from school where I have big screens, Mac Mac screens, but and to work uh, from home with a laptop. But I'm thinking about it because I don't really need a big wardrobe. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> for the sake of the design, we kept it. But right now I realize that I don't have that much stuff, that much clothes. Um, yeah, so probably I'm gonna change it and that's it. Let's go to the rest, uh, the other, the last part of my apartment and it is the balcony. Uh, right now it's quite cold there because I, I told you in the comments that uh, Russian's winter it's quite cold and legally I couldn't put the heating inside because it's kind of illegal there. But um, I made a sort of a chill zone and yeah, let, let's go inside and I'll, I'll tell you that. So, um, here you see I bought like IKEA chairs and uh, a table. And in summer, in spring, when it's uh, quite warm here, I also, I don't know, have sometimes breakfast, lunch, dinner here, or work from here, I don't know, chill here, <laughs> um, chat with my friends, invite my friends. Uh, but right now it's kind of cold here, so that's why we're gonna go inside and continue the video inside. Yeah, one important thing. I keep the bean back here, but when my friends come to my place, I 
uh, put it inside also this chairs and table when we gather in my apartment I put everything inside what it's called uh, so that we have more like um, sitting places like the chairs and the beanbag the last thing I wanted to show you on the balcony is the uh, this closet so I keep some stuff right over here I don't want to show what is inside right now but uh, yeah so I told you that I don't need a big wardrobe because I have this closet, I have the closet at uh, the entrance of the apartment. So who knows, who knows, I'll keep the... I'll do the update if I change anything, I think. And as I promised you in the second part of this video, I'm gonna tell you how we did the renovation. Uh, we started with a design project and just my dad, he has a designer who he knows who made a sort of a project according to our tastes and um, I told that I like, I don't know, this kind of style and I want this zone here, that zone here and this designer, she was really cool and she created all of the things, she just, everything what was in my mind, she put it into the, like, the picture, the plan of the apartment and I'm so grateful to her, this is like the real professional the most difficult part was that we needed to authorize everything with Moscow authorities and I guess in other Russian cities it is much more easier to do these things, this documentation stuff, but in Moscow it wasn't really easy. From my experience, probably other people they have different experiences, but as you can see we destroyed the wall. The other thing what we did, we also changed the area of the bathroom. Uh, we also, and you know, like there is a thing of uh, hydro isolation, like we mm, changed some things underneath the floor, uh, we changed the floor, so it's also needed to be documented. And I'll describe everything shortly. If you're a foreigner who wants to buy the apartment, I think it's better to go to the agency and ask them to do that, because even though I'm Russian, it was hard for me, and I wish I also um, asked the agency to help me rather than uh, doing it by myself because I spent a lot of time, a lot of energy to all of these things. Uh, but long story short, what we did after the design project, we needed to authorize everything to have the permission to destroy the wall and all of this stuff. And we needed to uh, make kind of plan of the building and everything to take the characteristics of the building and of the apartment and after that we also did the according to the plan of the designer the special organization called BTI uh, it's in Moscow so in different cities it's different um, they make a big plan uh, explaining everything how it's needed to be done and after that while collecting all of these documents, you need to go to another authority called Mosjul Inspekce. So it's kind of the Moscow uh, state organizations who deals with the all of the renovation stuff. And you ask them for the permission and then they send you the documents, yes, that you're allowed to do the renovation. After that, you do the renovation, what we did. And then you need to call them, I mean, not even to call, you need to um, apply for the, when the, the construction works are done, so you need to apply uh, for the other documents that, where it's written, like, that the reconstruction is done according to the plan that you had. And after that, they say that everything is done, and you can make some changes into your documents of the apartment. This is briefly how everything is happening, but there were like lots of stuff that we needed to think about um, and it wasn't really easy as I'm describing it right now. Um, and also, we it's possible not to do all of these things, but the thing is that when we want to sell this apartment, um, we can only sell it to people who buy the apartment in cash or I mean, by credit, debit card, whatever, but not uh, taking the loan from the bank or something because the bank will not authorize the purchase of the apartment, which is not like legally done because the other authorities come and they check if everything is all right in the apartment, which will not be if you don't 
uh, do <laughs> all of these documents that we did. Uh, so it's important to do that. Otherwise, you will only you, you will have less potential um, buyers if you want to sell it. And I don't know, there might be other consequences, which I don't know. So, but I decided to make everything legally because I don't know who who knows what what other difficulties I might face. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe to this channel. I'm going to make more videos about Russia, life in Russia, Moscow. Also, if you have any questions, please post them down below this video. And also tell me about your experience with renovating the apartment, especially about problems you face within your country. Thank you very much again and hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. Have a good day.